Hi there everybody, it's Rarity here from inkybutterfly.wordpress.com Thank you very much for joining me again today for another card making tutorial um, We are going to use another new stamp set this for um, this video This is called Col Colour and Contour So uh, this one just uh, leapt out at me uh, One, because it's a really cute stamp set There's some nice, um, very versatile sentiments We've got an ink splatter which is ultimately very very useful we like having things like that and we've got some nice um, florals there which are phenomenal and they have matching dyes which is really really cool okay so colour and contour on its own fabulous love it okay and it's made awesome by this set of dyes okay so we've got something that cuts out the the main images which is fabulous it's often frustrating when we can't um uh, get these um, cut so that they can be layered together and things like that so it's a nice addition really like this scalloped um, die as well so we can make edges on our um, I know our layers our card edges that kind of thing and then we've got some fabulous rectangles um, in there and they all do something slightly different and um, so um, this one actually cuts the little eyelet so we've got some sort of um, embossing detail on some of these as well so very very lovely set very very nice and I think this is going to get used quite a lot um, I have to say so um, the card we're doing isn't isn't super complicated um, I just need to grab one of these dies out of here um, to uh, make our project so I'm just going to grab that one out of there I've got my stamps already mounted on the block so this is what we're we're making this very simple card just made really really pretty by the the layering of the die cuts okay so i think that looks fabulous white on white and then the pops of color these are all our new in colors and then i did a coordinating um envelope as well so same sort of flowers bringing in that spatter on there just to do a coordinated envelope okay that's what I haven't got out, an envelope. Let's just grab one of those. These are, I love the Stampin' Up! envelopes. You get 40 in a pack. Yep. And they're very, very nice, smooth white paper. Uh, very easy to stamp on. So we've got one of those ready. So um, I've already prepped the card base because essentially all that is, is um, my white card base with the largest die on there, just adhered flat um, with some seal. So that card base is already prepped so we're just going to do our uh, die cutting of our inner frame here and do our stamping and that's pretty much all there is to this card it's not very complicated at all so I've just got um, a piece of white cardstock there which I knew would be big enough to die cut um, just going to send that through uh, just so that um, we make that easier uh, by feeding it in so that the corner leads rather than one of the straight sides so we're just going to get that rolled through did I go far enough for you? Did I? okay and that just drops out of that um, die very very easily Uh, when you use the stamping cut and emboss and just look at that lovely detail on there sorry I haven't got my light on have I? is it better? <laughs> so um, that detail is just phenomenal isn't it okay look how deep it goes on there so this is what we're going to stamp on I'm just going to um, pull in some um, my mini grid paper to stamp over the top of okay just because I'm going to go over the edge and instead of doing um, black outlines we're going to go with um, the evening evergreen uh, to create our um, outlines okay so I've got the um, 
the outline of the floral and I have the, the sentiment. So I think what I'm going to do is place my sentiment in first and then we can place the flowers around it. So rather than using black, we'll use the evening evergreen. So a bit below centre, but to the right is what we're going for. So that's beautiful. And then we can lay in our um, floral image. So there isn't in, uh, as you saw, there was a, it's a two-step um, stamp set. Okay, now I've mounted this outline onto the block in a certain way. And then I've also mounted the coordinating two-step element in the same orientation. On, on another block so it just makes life easier when you um, go to do your two step stamping just um, putting that to uh, one side on my stamp chamois so that it's ready to, and clean so there's our evening evergreen next we've got soft succulent this is a lovely sage kind of colour um, just to add in our leaves here and about. It's a very sketchy impression of a leaf. So they're just being dotted in here and there just to fill up some of the white space more than anything, to be honest. Okay, put a little bit up there. Okay. Took one in there as well. So that just fills up our sort of white space around the edge there, okay? And then we can do our infill. So as I said, I've mounted this up so that, let's start the right way up. Um, it's, um, it's ready to go basically, okay? So that is how it's gonna go, I hope. Yeah, that's it. It's not an exact match, but it's roughly right. So this is polished pink. Uh, my tip for getting this um, sort of in the in the right orientation is to look for this sort of square petal that's on its own there, and also. There is um, this one where there's two petals together. Okay, so there's two petals together on, on that bit there. So um, there's two points which um, I use to line that up. Um, the reality is that um, it probably doesn't matter a whole ton if um, you don't quite get it right. This is Fresh Freesia, which is a beautiful pale pinky purple. It's really, really nice. And then finally, we've got Pale Papaya. Um, which is um, kind of on the peachy side. this way around so we're just looking for that double petal there and we're lining it up about there there we go simples okay very very easy very very easy and all we've got to do is put it together um on our card and what i should have done was stamp the envelope at the same time you see <laughs> so let's get that um I did onto the card. Gives me an opportunity to show you again. It was totally deliberate. <laughs> Golly. It's because I don't usually do that extra step, do I? So, but I thought I'd add it in because it is literally ridiculously um, quick. 
hard to make. I thought it would be nice to show you that you can also do um, make a matching envelope using exactly the same technique. That isn't quite straight but it'll do. So here we go again, we're going to do the same thing. I'd just like to know where my flap is uh, with the outline image, no leaves needed, but um, we're going to introduce that lovely splatter into the uh, into the mix as well. So I'm just going to go for it and just put those into that corner. It's a slightly different layout than the, than the original, but it doesn't matter one iota um, how you want to do that. Is entirely up to you. So that splatter stamp is going to be um, really, really useful. And you know, I'm not too so, so concerned about it going over the um, the body of the uh, the flowers either. I just think it's really nice to add a little bit of texture. You can go over the flap a little bit as well, which, which just sort of ties in the. Uh, the element onto the back as well so, so just have some fun with it really and then we can do the same thing we can use our three um, colours to fill that in okay so again what we're looking for is the double petal this petal uh, this one or the one sort of almost opposite it that's got this sort of very square end okay so the square ended one gets this one that's sort of got a bit of a funny bendy bit on the end. Okay. Just sort of chisel that around till it looks like it's kind of in the right dis right area and uh, that's done. Power papaya. Fresh freesia. Again, just looking for my anchor point so there's that double petal and then once you've located that you can just sort of hover and get the rest of it in and lastly the polished pink there we are excellent okay so there we have a card and a matching envelope to go with it. So that just makes that look very professional when you see that come through the post, okay? Uh, very nice. Um, very nice matching card and envelope. And what a, what a lovely thing to receive on your doormat um, instead of all those, uh, you know, bells. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that. It was designed to be very, very quick and simple. Um, Real nice introduction to this beautiful set of um, this bundle, colour color and contour bundle. Really, really love it. Uh, I hope you do too. Okay, links are in the description for, um, for that. Um, if you wish to purchase any of that, I'd love to be your demonstrator. If you live in the UK and don't have a new copy of the new catalogue, let me know. I can send one out to you. And do have a look at that joining offer. It's even better value during the month of May, okay? Um, very, very, it's really worth joining, uh, even if it is just to shop for the discount and get a bit of uh, community spirit and craft together with other people. Okay? Um, thanks so much, everybody. Take care. Bye.